on? This is Big Rob, aka Bison, aka B. Williams, here to talk about basketball. Let's get straight to it. I'm rocking the Sixers, you know. They was just saying, like, uh, who was it? Uh, LeBron's only the greatest, so we have because Iverson was only six foot, not six six. That's Max Kellerman's post. <laughs> You know what I mean? I see what he's saying. It's kind of funny, but it, it makes sense, you know. I mean, they were all great. It's like when it comes to greats, you know what I mean? It's like, it's crazy. It's like, I can't take away from nobody. It's really silly for me to say one person's the greatest. And it's like, you go by stats, you know, Will Chamberlain got stats that are out of this world. And it's like, you know, now we're talking about somebody trying to pass them. And then it's like the new school people who only saw from about 2000 until now, they're gonna be against what you say about the older players. And the older players, or the older fans who've seen something from way, way back, they're gonna be more biased to the older players. But it's not about that. To me, it's like, uh, look at it as, as, as a whole. If you're young, study back to the older players. And then you gotta look at it like this. I mean, some players, if they had the footage of today, color like they have they had no footage back in the day on some of the players and it was all in black and white and then will chamberlain scores 100 point how great is that but it was never on film he just had a a picture and that was it i mean he had a picture of 100 signed on the thing you know imagine if somebody did that today it would be on sports center channel six news it would be everywhere they would they wouldn't stop talking about it for the next two years straight if somebody scored 101 points so it's like a shame. It's like the pioneers did the work and then the younger people take over it. I mean, that's, that's life. I mean, we didn't know how to do none of the jobs that we're doing as careers until somebody else did it. You know what I mean? If we started out doing that job or whatever, we wouldn't know what to do. You know what I mean? But the other people that started something, they don't get the fame or the success or the fortunes. Same with uh, like hip hop music. You know, you were dissed if you had it. Or they said, what's that? That's crazy. And nowadays you put something out and it's millions. And the NBA players get paid more. It's like uh, they're getting paid a lot, <laughs> big bucks. But back in the day, they hardly got paid much for what they, you know, they were superstars. But they weren't paid superstar money. Now, let's get to the main thing is uh, LeBron wants to pass Kareem to fulfill his legacy of the GOAT. So he would have to play 70 games for the next two years and average 22 points a game, which is highly likable. He pays a million dollars for his body, he keeps in shape. You know, it's kind of good and bad for me. I mean, I'll give LeBron his cre credit, you know what I mean? It's like really nobody's really hating on LeBron. It's just that when they talk about he's better than this person, that person, people got something to say about it. That's always going to be said. You know, and now LeBron made Space Jam, so that, that's in his legacy too. So <laughs> he did a lot of great things. So I can't take away nothing from him or the other people. I wish I wish I was him. I wish I was a lot of NBA players. I wish I was a guy sitting on the bench in the NBA. We all wish that. You know, we don't got to hate on him and, and, and people was burning his shirt or burning the flag and all that. It ain't about that. And LeBron's a nice guy. And I'm sure if any of you guys are hate on LeBron, if he was here right now, y'all would hang with him and want to be his best friend. But as far as basketball, and me being a stickler of stats and a, and a fanatic of basketball, and you know, Kareem's my boy. <laughs> I grew up and I thought Kareem was like great. He was old shooting. I missed him when he was young. I wish I was younger to see when he was young. But I hear he was unstoppable. As a rookie, he came in and did whatever. But it's like, for people not to put Kareem in the top five or the gold or anything like that, it's kind of crazy, it's kind of disrespectful. You know, it's like they just go to the guards. You know, Michael got a lot of promotion and a lot of, you know, Kareem was a quiet guy. You know, and there's guys like Alex English who has great stats and scored a lot. And probably most of y'all never heard of Alex English. You know, so it's like you got to have flamboyancy. You got to have some kind of style. You got to, you know. But if I just look at basketball and all the stats and everything like that, you know, I look at Kareem, you know, a winner of all winners, high school, championships, college. Not only did he win a championship in college, which is hard to do, 
he won three. He would have won four, but they poked him in his eye the one year. So that's amazing. LeBron didn't even go to college. I mean, no knock against him. He was good enough to not have to go to college, you know. But So if even if LeBron breaks the thing, breaks the record, I would say he would still owe us another four years of scoring. So how about four more years of 22 points? <laughs> and then I can say, wow, A is the greatest. But if he breaks the record, I'll be like, that's great. A pat on his back, you know, that's real great. But I still look at Kareem as the greatest. And I wouldn't disrespect Kareem, you know what I mean? He had the greatest go-to shot in the world. None of y'all can really do the hook shot like him. It hasn't been done. They're afraid to go down the post these days and shoot threes. It'll probably come back maybe in the future. It'll be some kind of futuristic hook shot. So that's what it is. Um... I don't know. It's, it's great. If it happens, it happens, and it probably will happen. I thought it couldn't happen. You know, my dad told me, you know, it was a guy named Oscar Robertson, you know, when I was young, or he was younger, who was the greatest ever because he averaged a triple-double for the whole season. I was like, wow, when I heard that. Now, all of a sudden, Westbrook got it. But it's like Westbrook, you know, they say the padding of the stats. Like they're trying to perp they were trying to purposely tap the rebound to him so he gets the rebound. You know, stuff like that. Well, it wasn't like that with Oscar Robertson. It was real. But we'll never know that because they don't got the good footage and highlights and the analytics and all that type of stuff like they do now. So people get short changes the older. And another guy I had to point out for the greatest, they don't even talk about or not put on the list, uh, Elgin Baylor. I mean, like, uh, he was kind of like LeBron with the body structure, maybe not as strong. But he had a soft touch and a great shot. He don't get enough promotion. A lot of guys don't get enough promotion. So I got to say that on here. Nobody talks about George Gervin. And another thing is, if you took about 10, 12 ABA guys, and they never played in the ABA and played in the NBA, then LeBron would have something else to worry about because some of those guys would probably be in the top three or four or five or maybe number one now. Like, consider Dr. J. You know, and then they say that stuff about Ben Simmons with no jump shot. Dr. J didn't have a jump shot, but he's considered one of the greatest ever. I had to throw that in there because everybody's ragging my man Ben Simmons. And y'all Sixers lovers, Ben Simmons goes, y'all going to cry. Y'all going to have a tear come out if he goes. But LeBron, um, I wish him the best. You know, he's a, he's a great guy. And I, don't, I can't hate on him if he breaks the record. I mean, wouldn't you go for the record if you could? Anybody could. But a lot of people have tried. They wanted to be the next Mike. They wanted to uh, pass the record, but they couldn't because of uh, injuries or uh, they wasn't healthy enough or blah, blah, blah. You know, some of the greatest players had injuries. If they didn't have injuries, they would have been up there. Bernard King, super player. He would have gave LeBron some business, made him sweat a little bit. Same position. He'd have been like, what you talking about? You the greatest motherfucker. I'm the, you know, I don't know if he say that, but... <laughs> I mean, if I was out there, I'd talk a little trash. If I was 6'8", and I was nice like that. But that's another story for another time, you know. So we just got to enjoy this NBA. Don't fight over it, all, everybody. Just enjoy it. Enhance it. And do your homework. Research those older players. We're all too young to know the whole history and all that, you know. I mean, Bob Cousy was nice. He Nobody even brings him up. He didn't even make the... Uh, college team or whatever they scouted him and found him or something like that and a lot of players got short changed because they only had a certain amount of people on the roster back then so it's like uh you go with the flow and go with the times you know you do the best you can do so you can't really hate on lebron he's taking advantage of opportunity and we all do that like whatever job you got you got a chance to move up you're gonna take it you got a chance to get a bonus you ain't gonna say no it's just that when it's hot, it's hot. When it's not, it's not. You know what I mean? You just keep rising to the top. That rhymes. But uh, it's, it's, it's going to come. So two years, we'll see LeBron, 22 points. He doesn't even seem to be slowing down. He had that injury, and that slowed him down a little bit. But uh, it, it's amazing what LeBron has done. I mean, I have to say he's the greatest NBA body ever put assembled you know, if he was in a factory and they put NBA bodies, yeah, LeBron's number one. He's the greatest of all time in that. You know, and then it's like with, with the rule changes, it's a little crazy. 
It's a little crazy with the rule changes and all that. So many rule changes. But you take advantage when it's there, it's there when it is when it is, you know? All right. This is another video I'm getting interrupted here. People calling me all day. I can't even talk basketball peaceful amongst the lake and all that stuff. And enjoy it. Wow, it's tough. But y'all have a good day. Stay blessed. Keep playing that ball. Keep getting out there because I am. It's hard after the COVID and all to stay in shape. But I'm, you know, I'm going to do something. Got to. Love it. Love it. Just feel the breeze, baby. Look at the plane. Look at the plane. All right. This is another vid from Big Rob. Bison, a.k.a. Bison. A.k.a. B. Williams. Yeah. That little bit of Sixers gear, 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 gear. All right. Good luck to all and have a healthy season, NBA players. All right. And all you amateurs, keep getting your game up. I might just pop up on your court and block a shot.